All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this Acer laptop. I don't know the model number because it's um, <laughs> torn off as you can see or all faded. Anyways, we're using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver to remove the screws. Um, it looks like this screw, oh, okay, no, they do come out. Okay, so we are gonna remove all the screws. You wanna keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. The way I do that, flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern, I remove them. All right, there are quite a few screws. Looks like four here, four here, and then four here. Okay, again, I like to keep them all in order just to be safe because sometimes mixing them up can cause problems. Okay, so we're gonna get those screws out. All right, then we're gonna get these four screws out. <clears throat> So far, they all appear to be the same size. I don't know if the ones <clears throat> towards the front will be different. Actually, these two in the middle are smaller and skinnier, so they are different. Keep that in mind. <clears throat> all right, so far, I think the outer, maybe the outer perimeter are all the same. Let's see. Nope. Okay, so these front ones are also smaller and skinnier. So it looks like the four up here and these two are probably going to be all the same. But again, it's best to keep all the screws in order so that you can put them back where you got them. <clears throat> so the reason why we're opening this up, the customer didn't actually provide me with the charter, so I don't know if I'll be able to test it, um, but hopefully I'll be able to feel the difference. Um, basically, they dropped it here, and the power button, I don't know if you can see, is dented inside. So basically, it's just permanently pushing itself. All right, um, there is a battery reset little button here that you can push with a needle or a pin. Um, so if you wanted to reset that, you could. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and see if we can pop this cover off. Um, so I'm gonna try using a su uh, suction cup in the center and see if we can pop that out. I'm using my fingernails in the little gap where it opens down here and holding that down while I pull it up. Okay, and there you can see, wow, that actually worked. Okay, so there's a bunch of uh, dust in here that we're gonna have to clean up. And the power button luckily appears to be on its own separate board. So, assuming the power button didn't get destroyed, it looks like I might just have to bend this out a little bit. Let me see, can I do this by hand or? That worked. <laughs> okay, not bad. I was able to bend that by hand. If I want to kind of completely flatten it out, I guess I can um, open this, but. You can hear actually it's clicking now. Let me actually bend it a bit more because that's not as much as it should be. Okay, I have to be careful because I don't want to accidentally snap anything off. But uh, definitely I can feel the clicking now. If you're wondering, there's an M.2, it looks like an M.2 SATA SSD in here. I don't know if it supports PCIe NVMe or not, but that's an M.2 SATA. You got the cable that connects from the motherboard to this I.O. board, which handles the power button, USB port, SD card slot, volume buttons, headphone jack, and all of that. There's also a little cable that goes down here for this little piece here, which I'm not sure what that is. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's for. I've seen a few laptops with these. L-I-D-C-N-1. Oh, maybe it's the thing that detects if the lid or the screen is closed. Okay, so volume buttons work okay. This is the reset button I was talking about. This looks okay. I mean, yeah, I don't think I can really get in there because there's a plastic piece right outside. So I don't think I can get in there to completely flatten that out, sadly. All right, so it's probably going to have to stay with this um, slight um, extension piece here. Anyways, you got the CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery here with the connector there. Wireless card here, wireless antennas. I'm not gonna be taking all this stuff out because they just wanted that one thing fixed and I don't wanna risk damaging anything. You got the keyboard connector here which has a little slide back uh, release latch. You got the keyboard backlight connector. Um, I don't know what's what because of this tape here. Okay, it looks like there's a fingerprint sensor and this one is probably touchpad. Yep, TP1, so touchpad, fingerprint sensor. I know there's tape on top. Um, most likely it has those little flip latch connectors. The battery here. Um, if you need the battery model model number, AP1505L. I think that's an O, not a zero, but I could be wrong. All right. Um, looks like there's only two screws holding that in. Then this battery probably swings up like this and comes out, slides out this way. Then you grab this. You can wiggle the wings and pull that out. 
Um, this is most likely designed like all the other, like a lot of the other 99% or 90 to 99% of all the computers I work on. You got the LCD LVDS connector here, DC jack connector here. It looks like it's not held in with any screws. So once you pull that, you can actually pull that up. Okay. Got the fan here. I'm assuming there's just that one screw and yeah, cause it's wobbly. So I'm assuming you just take that screw out and you can pop this out. Um, you do have to disconnect that as well, of course. This is the fan connector. You just grab the wings and you kind of wiggle and pull it back. Then you got the speaker connector here and you got this connector here, most likely for the webcam and things like that. All right, uh, RAM is soldered to the motherboard, CPU soldered to the motherboard because a lot of people like to ask me that question. So I figured why not mention it? Um, I'm surprised there's only one speaker in this entire computer, it looks like. Um, just that one, unless actually, okay, never mind. The speaker runs along underneath here and then it connects to that one, I believe. All right, um, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna clean the dust out of it real quick. Uh, we'll take a look. I wish they gave me the um, charger thing here. Let me see what I can do if I can actually bend this even a little bit or not. I don't think so, but uh, yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, the way it's dented is like, I don't know. I mean, at least now the button actually clicks, so that's a good sign. Uh, hopefully they didn't actually break the button here because sometimes when it pushes too far it breaks that button and shoves it into the computer um, But so far that doesn't seem to be the case. So I think we should be good All right, and yeah, I just need to clean the dust out of here. Oh the fingerprints embedded in the touchpad interesting Okay, so yeah, I just need to clean this up and then we'll be back and I'll show you it all cleaned and put the cover back on Okay, so I'll do that and I'll see you guys in a bit. Basically, I just use a toothbrush, scrub off, loosen this dust, as you can see, like this. Once I loosen the dust, um, then I just use an electric air blower and blow all that uh, loosened dust off. Actually, let me do this part here for you first so you can kind of see. Um, okay, but yeah, usually I do this outside, so if any of this stuff falls off the computer, I can just dump it off outside, all right? It's just dust and crumbs. Um, but basically just brush around the whole thing. I like to hold the fan so that it doesn't like just freely spin. You want to kind of let it have a little pressure so that when you brush it, the dust can come off. All right. All right. But basically we do that on here and on the cover, blow it out and then we're good to go. All right. So let me do that and I'll be back. All right. So we're back. Let's pop this cover back off. All right, as you can see, we got that cleaned up. Some of this stuff doesn't come out. That's why it's like there, but uh, I removed what I could. Okay, this is all cleaned up. All right, so maybe from the battery model number, I'll be able to figure out the laptop model because um, I don't see anything here. I'm going to guess it's like an Acer Aspire or something, but uh, we'll find out. I'll check with the battery and see, actually, is there motherboard model number here these aren't motherboard model numbers there's there's too many different numbers here but i don't see a motherboard model number x160 yeah i don't think that's maybe it's like one of these f5501 i don't know <laughs> f5501 f5701 and then there's also some random numbers here x16 O two, thirty two. 32 I don't know that's something else all right anyways let's go ahead and put this thing back together um, I'll figure out the model number later so I can get it for the title we're just gonna line everything up click it down into place all right I don't think there's any special way to get this back in yep looks good button is still clicky now we have this gap here but but button is working Okay, so let's go ahead and get these screws back in and we should be good to go. All right, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, thanks for watching and welcome to stay as I get all these screws back in. All right, that's pretty much it. Oh no, come back here, screw. Okay, there we go.
Yeah. All right. So luckily the issue seemed to be pretty simple. And also worst case, we can actually order a replacement power button there and replace that, assuming we can find it online. Um, if we can't, uh, we can try and find that whole board. A lot of times it's actually cheaper to replace the whole board because the labor to kind of um, desolder the old power button and put a new one can be quite a bit more. So it depends on the cost of the parts, what's worth it to do or not. Most people will end up just getting that board because that's easier to do. Um, but this seemed to work. So yeah, um, I guess this was more of a quick look inside because I didn't really remove anything from this laptop except for the cover but uh, and the dust. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this bike.